Okay, well, it's taken a while. It's taken close to a month to get these batteries, but I believe they uh, originally had to come in from China, from China to California. And then, uh, you know, I guess between the pandemic and the fires in California and the hurricanes going through, that uh, it slowed it down a little bit, but uh, they're here now. And I'm gonna open them up, run the camera while I do that so I can document what, they, what the condition is. They don't look too bad. The boxes are a little beat up, but coming all the way from China and then California, I would expect that they would be damaged a little bit. Everything looks good, so let's go ahead and check the voltage on there so maybe you can see it. Thirteen point three six. Thirteen point eight. So I went ahead and uh, hooked them together parallel. Positive, positive, negative to negative. Hopefully, uh, by tomorrow morning they'll be equalized. That's what I hope. Hope it doesn't take too long. Been working on my little uh, 2424 LV MPP solar system. Got it all wired up now. I got my uh, breaker on. I had to go to uh, two gauge wire. The way they have this um, set up. Uh, you can't use anything bigger than a two gauge. Uh, if you find if you can find one gauge, you might be able to use that. But um, I went online and uh, looked at the diameters of the um, two uh, of the wire, and then measured the opening that they give you here to put it in. And what I saw was that two gauge was the biggest thing you were going to be able to use. So unfortunately. I bought a roll of uh, two aught, but that was just way too big. There was no way two aught was going to go in there. So I got my breaker on, and I've got my, uh, I bought a 10 gauge extension cord. So here is my uh, power going out. That's on the female, and power coming in on the male. And then, of course, my uh, PV in solar in with the uh, MC4 connectors. I've got all my cables coiled up so I can take it out and put it in my trailer tomorrow morning. What I've done is I've mounted this on a piece of uh, three quarter inch plywood. I had some Formica and I put some Formica on there because they said to put it on a non-combustible surface. So uh, I put it on this board. I put a little handle on here so I can pick it up and carry it. And the idea behind it is that uh, I want to be able to uh, take it out of my trailer if it's going to be sitting there uh, not being used for a few weeks or something. Then I can take it out, get it out of the heat and the humidity. So I've got these um, holes here where I have some studs in my trailer and um, the studs are mounted on some two by twos to hold it away from the wall a little bit and also to make it strong so uh, all I have to do is go out there and put it on the studs I have some wing nuts I put the wing nuts on and it's all in place I don't know if you can see here the way this is made it's it's raised up through most of the middle and it just hits on the top and on the bottom so I don't know if you can see it but I drilled uh, three holes in here let's see maybe you can see them now I drilled three holes in there so that uh, I would get some good good airflow through here 
So I've got plenty of airflow. So everything should be ready to go. And uh, that's a 24 volt system. So I've got it hooked up to uh, these four SOK batteries. I've got those hooked up uh, two in series and two in series, and then of course parallel. So I've got um, their 12 uh, volt batteries. So I've got um, 200 amp hours at 24 volts. But so far, I am very, very happy with how everything's worked. Really pleased with the, uh, really pleased with the SOK batteries. They uh, are quite a bit cheaper than the uh, Battleborns by about, oh, 300 bucks or, or more. And uh, what I really like about them is they're the prismatic batteries, so you only have, you know, a few connections because there's actually only four cells in there. With the Battleborn, which I know Battleborns are really good, so this is not, you know, something I'm not trying to put down Battleborn, but they still use the, uh, the small cells where you have, I don't know, Gosh, in one battery, there's got to be, I don't know how many connections, 50 connections between the different batteries in there, times times four 12-volt batteries. So you're talking probably 100 different connections that could possibly come loose. And with the prismatic batteries, you have just very few connections. So, I think that's a good I thing. I didn't know what size of a breaker to use. And I had, I had originally, uh, like I said, I originally planned on using two aught cable. So I bought a bigger breaker and, um, or at least I, I gauged the breaker according to that. But once I found out I could only use two gauge I just stuck with the same breaker. I didn't want to return it. It's a 200 amp, and um, I don't know the the um, the information I got on it is kind of like all over the place. Some people will tell you you have to have a 40 amp breaker, and other people say you a 250 amp breaker. Uh, but according to the chart that I went by, uh, 200 amps, I think they wanted 175 amp, and I couldn't really get 175 amp, so um, I went with the 200 amp. But like I say, I don't anticipate any issues with it. I mean, I've never even felt any of the wires or the MPP or the batteries or anything even get the least bit warm. So. I don't see an issue. I'm not running a huge amount of power, but um, the air conditioner does draw a pretty good amount of power. I mean, I originally thought the Blue Eddy would run the air conditioner, but it wouldn't run it at all. It's only a thousand watt inverter. The MPP is a, uh, I believe they call it a 2400 watt inverter, although some of the uh, manuals reference it as a 3,000 watt inverter. Maybe that's three. Maybe that's 2,400 with a 3,000 watt peak. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's plenty. It runs the air conditioner just like um, plugging it into a household uh, AC socket. The, the air conditioner just comes right on. There's no issues or, at all plenty of power so like I said once again I'm very happy with the whole thing especially the batteries I think uh, at the price I think they're a bargain compared to what uh, most everybody else is charging for them I've got them 
brace down real good. You can see these uh, these braces. They're made out of wood, lined with um, indoor/outdoor carpet, so they don't scrape up the uh, batteries. I've got this um, built this little box off of the floor to uh, hold them all in place because I go down a lot of really bumpy roads to some of the primitive campsites. I put this little piece of foam in between them and uh, there's indoor outdoor carpet all along here inside the uh, one by two. So everything's covered up really good. You can see the terminals up there. They just missed the top of the plywood. And there you can probably maybe see my hole for ventilation. So we'll take the plywood off here, take the refrigerator out, and show you the whole thing. Okay, so let me move some of this stuff out of the way so we can see what the um, battery setup looks like. Okay, you can see I've got these two batteries set in uh, series, and these two batteries set in series, and then uh, I've got them run parallel over to the uh, MPP solar. Okay, here's a little closer look at my battery setup. Like I said earlier, I've got uh, these two are my original batteries that I bought. I've got those in series, and... Uh, I liked them so well and they work so well that I decided to get two more. So here's the second pair I bought. And these are in series and then I've got them paralleled. So 24 volts, 200 amp hours. I've got my breaker. My uh, used a 10 gauge extension cord for my um, power in and power out. I used um, this is two watt cable. That's what I originally bought. So I went ahead and used that for this. But over here on the MPPT or the uh, MPP solar, I've got uh, two gauge cable because the uh, two watt just would not fit into the um, into the connection that they provided. So you might want to make a note of that. I think two gauges as large as you can use on this particular model the 24 volt that's about it I'm real happy with it I put my cover back on and uh, everything everything's covered up there's no chance of anything getting down in here and shorten the batteries out they did give me some terminals uh, covers um, they included several on my second order, that is the SOK battery people. But um, I found that they um, really wouldn't work with such large cable. I mean, you could split them maybe and get them on there, but um, I think I'll just forego that. Like I say, once I get this top back on here, this is all completely covered up. Don't have to worry about anything getting shorted out. So that's it. That's my system. It will, when this is fully charged, it will run this trailer, refrigerator, lights, music, air conditioner, fan. I run my fan just about 24 seven. And, um, I've run it for like 16 hours straight without ever running out of battery power. So I'm real happy with the um, with the SOK batteries and with the uh, MPP solar system.